Jesse has been towing around this camper trailer behind his MUX. Now this is the Explorer rear fold. This Explorer rear fold, this is one of our budget models. So it's in the sort of the bottom of our range, but far from bottom of the, bottom of the range is in features. This is feature packed, this thing. The reason we've done one of these is people that get into camper trailers. Some people have already come from camping and have got a big heap of gear that they can put into it. So rather than buy a camper that's got all the fruit and you have to get rid of half of your gear, you can actually bring your gear along and put it in a model like this. All right, pass them in. The benefit of rear folds, it gives you more room. So with the forward folds, you find sometimes a little bit short in the annex because they're no different to the body length of the van closed or open. With the rear fold, you get that extra, around about two metres in the back of your annex. So really, that gives you a lot of room in there for all of your family. Oh, well, that's my bed for the night, mate. Where are you sleeping? I don't know yet. <laughs> so you can sleep in here if you want. Look at that, you can roll your swag out in there. There's that much room. Sorry, mate, you snore too loudly for me to sleep there. Oh, okay. All right, well, there you go. That's my palace. That is cool. Better go get some firewood, I reckon. This thing is very compact and very light. Like it only weighs 1.3 ton. That's like towing nothing. Even through some of the toughest tracks, basically it just followed where you had to go. Now, the other thing about this trailer is it's got everything. Including the kitchen sink. And there she is, the kitchen sink. <laughs> it's got a gas cooktop, three burner, uh, the gas is plumbed in, so it's just a matter of hooking up some hoses. The gas bottles are at the front. You even got this little tray on the end here. Have a check this out. Look at that! Full stainless steel kitchen setup. There's also storage compartments under here for your usual stuff. Plates, knives, for this cutlery tray. I'll tell you what, it's, it looks small and compact, but it does have everything. All right, so in here is basically the control station. I've got power sockets, I've got uh, lights, and I've got fresh water pump. There's also a 12 volt charging socket here, and a battery isolator. Now there's a 15 amp AC charger. Now that's designed to run the whole system, including a portable fridge. First of all, you'll notice on the front here, we've got two jerry can holders. In here, we've got a little shelf on top here, and this is where we run all the tent poles. So you store all your poles and stuff in that top bit, on the side here, we've got a massive compartment with drawers, truckloads of storage. On the other side, I'll show you there. So on this side, where the kitchen is, you've got a drawer. Now I've got a generator in here, but this is where you would put your 12 volt portable fridge. So there's 12 volt in there, so you can hook up your, your fridge and power it. You've also, under here, you'll notice we've got 12 volt sockets on the outside conveniently located where the kitchen slides out. The first thing you're gonna notice about this camper trailer is the space. <laughs> it is just massive, like literally, look at this. I'm standing up on the bed and I'm still not touching the roof. So massive space, good for hot climates. That's the big thing about canvas. You've got to have a bit of ventilation and you've got to have a bit of space, that air gap. There's nothing worse when you're out camping in summertime. It's stifling hot inside your tent. This has got the tropical roof over the top. So what that does keeps the sun off your main tent roof. And because you've got a gap there as well, it allows a breeze to flow through there so you don't get that build up of heat. With all the windows being around, it's nice and bright and also nice and airy. Internal window flaps as well as external window flaps. So if it's raining outside and you're in bed at night time or it's getting a bit cool, you can zip everything up from inside. No one's running outside in the rain. All the poles, steel poles, not aluminium. Aluminium will just fold up like a pack of cards in the wind. And what we've done, especially for the windage, is you've got gusseted poles and bows in all the corners there. So it just adds strength and rigidity to the tent. Everything is midgy proof. The bed, that's pretty much to be close to a queen size bed. And check out the storage in here. Got these massive storage drawers. Look at that, that's where you put all your clothes. You can put all your shorts down there and then all your shirts down there. And there's not just one of them, there's two of them. Truckloads of 12 volt outlets, 
because you can never have enough of those. Charge iPads, charging mobile phones when you're inside. Perfect. Oh, that's definitely a comfortable bed. Plenty of room, there's no doubt about it. This thing here is as off-road as you want. Well, as I said, full independent trailing arm suspension. It'll get anywhere your car will, so you can get it through those tight little tracks. Now this thing is such a tough little off-roader. Have a look at the size of the wheel bearings on this thing. They're massive. This has got an 85 litre poly tank in it, so the 10 mil thick poly tank. So in off-road situation, you drag them over rocks, things like that, you're not gonna pop a hole in them. So after spending 10 weeks in the bush with the Explorer rear fold, I've brought it home and I've set up the canvas. And this is where the camper really comes into its own. Come and have a look how much space is inside. So internally, once you put up the canvas room, it's like a whole extra room on the side of the camper. Now this is where you do all the cooking. So you can have this as a kitchen, it can also double as extra sort of bunk space. So you get a couple of bunks, you can set them up with the kids, you can lay a swag out there in the corner. You had PVC bucket floor in there, full set of screen walls there, as well as canvas on the outside as well. All of the walls there, you can actually run them out and there's poles supplied and ropes supplied, so you can actually run them out at an angle. So if it's raining or you've got a lot of sun coming in or wind coming in, you can keep that out, but still allow a breeze to come through. You're not zipping the flaps right shut. So it really does have for a budget conscious camper trailer, the full pack. It's a really compact camper. Once you set it all up, I'll tell you what, this is a home away from home.